Okay, so today I am going to show you how to do a DIY laundry detergent but grease uh, degreaser, okay? Uh, the only two difference on these, it's actually I'm going to add ammonia into it and then the, the cleaning vinegar, okay? Yes, cleaning vinegar is pretty cheap too at, at Walmart as well. Um, it's around 65 cents per gallon of laundry detergent, okay? And if you want to do the regular one, I'll link it up here and you can do the regular one as well. Uh, if you're not looking for a degreaser formula. But this one is just a degreaser formula. Um, you're going to need a box of Zote, but if you don't have it or you don't want to pay that price, you can get the bars, but you have to get two bars. So it's, and the flake is like, what, two ninety seven versus two dollars and something. So it's like a dollar more. You're gonna sit there and scrape. That's up to you. Or cut them up. That's up to you. Uh, I want to speed the process up, so I bought the flake instead. Um, so I pay two dollars and ninety seven cents, and that is actually the the sixty five cents per gallon version. Okay. You will need two cups of uh, washing soda and two cups of borax booster, detergent booster, okay? And then you're going to put one, um, uh, one cup of vinegar and then one cup of ammonia. And that would try to get to degrease a little bit, okay? Now, if you want the super, super degreaser, like a lot of super degreaser, I would suggest you to put vinegar separately rather than dump it all in here you can actually add that on to your to your laundry detergent or make a separate one just measure accordingly okay calculate that out and measure accordingly for my formula i use one cup so that's 16 ounce so if you divide that to 16 ounce that's 1.6 for every gallon okay just remember that formula okay just divide them in 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 in, in ten that's all it's pretty easy anyway um now for this version here it costs about 65 cents per gallon okay and it's the same method and i am going to um uh pause the video and then I'm going to show you uh, what to do next, okay? Other than that, that's about it. Okay, so I have dumped half the water in. Uh, I heat up my hot water, uh, and now I'm dumping the rest in here, okay? And as you dump this in, when you dump your hot water in, you want to stir around a little bit okay now remember the um, ammonia and your vinegar has to come in cool okay so you want to let this cool down before you put vinegar and ammonia in okay so what I'm going to do, this is what you're going to do with the, this is the, um, 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 the vinegar and the, and, 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 and the, uh, ammonia, because it's being hot, you don't want to mix that in. So that's the only two ingredients that I did not add into this yet, okay? And remember, it's all depend on you. If you want it stronger, if you want it like really heavy duty degreaser, you want to put extra ammonia in and you want to put vinegar, extra vinegar in. I will link that into the description, okay? I will put everything in the description so you don't even have to ask uh, for them. But this is the, this is the only, I put everything in, um, my formula in, my uh, borax and my, um, uh, washing detergent and my zote. Um, so now I'm just and my of course your 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 hot water because you need hot water to to, to break these down. Um, and because of the chemicals, I don't want it to add these in yet. Okay, 
So those are the only two ingredients that you will add when it's cold. Okay, please remember that. Add them to your last step. I don't want them to add them now because this is still hot. So when I add them all together, I will show you that video. Okay, but as of for now, um, we're going to leave this to cool down a little bit. Okay, so let it break down on by itself so you don't have to do any work. Okay. Okay, I figured I'd give you guys a bonus footage. Um, this is my second time adding hot water in and you can see the consistency. Oh, it's fogging up the lens. Whoa. See? It's becoming really liquidy now. So, I figured I'd give you guys a chance to see that, um, it's starting to break down a lot, especially my second batch of uh, hot. You can actually place this onto uh, a pot and actually boil them too. You can do that too to speed up things faster. Uh, you don't have to. You can leave this overnight and nature will do the work for you. But since I'm doing a video, I wanted to do it really fast. <laughs> and look at what happened. It's starting to fog up again. But see the, see the consistency? It's starting to become really milky now. Yeah. So that's all it is. I just figured I'd give you guys a, a little bit to see. Um, but anyway, um, that's about it. Okay. So now everything's all cooled down. And now I'm actually mixing my last two ingredients, which is the ammonia and the vinegar. Remember I said that in early in the video, let it cool down first. So that way there's no gas or anything escape. Um, in this here, I actually only use one cup each because I don't want to be too much because I'm afraid that would be a little harsh. So remember, one cup of vinegar and one cup of ammonia. This is to help the grease out. Like, for instance, if you work on tractors, if you work on cars, if you work on things like that, it might help. It might. Uh, it's kind of like helping you out a little bit because we know, we know that vinegar does and ammonia does that cut grease. So those are the only two things that I add into extra. Now, if you want to make it really, really heavy duty, you can add extra ammonia into that and extra vinegar into that. But remember, there's always people who are allergic to it. So always use your first batch. Use as less chemical as you can. That's always will be my tip and I will always tell you that. In my case, for the five gallon bucket here, I am only using one cup of each so there's two cups i mix it earlier right here to speed up the process a lot faster and as you already know let me put you down for a second as you already know i am already um i'm already ready and i'm gonna stir this up a little bit sorry i have to take the camera up a little bit here Okay, I'm gonna stir this up a little bit and then I'm gonna drop it in and I'm gonna stir it even more. That's how it's gonna work, okay? Because remember, you want to be uh, mixed well, okay? So I'm just gonna stir, drop them in there. And remember, wait until it cools down, okay? So that way all your um, all the smellies and the chemicals won't be smelly and this is if you do it in in, in the house if you do it on the outside of the house you can do it you can just do it when it's still hot but since i'm doing inside the house i want it to cool down and plus i want to teach people the safety way to do things so but if you don't want to you can go the other route you can mix everything outside you don't even have to use hot water you can just use one Thing of simmer water and then let it sit for days and it'll and it'll eventually it'll come up to something like this right here when it's all cooled down see it and look at the consistency see and remember this is for your um for heavy duty stuff like uh greasy stuff um i have 
One thing I have not tried because I have never done, uh, I have never had grass stains. That's the only thing that I have not tried on. I have tried this on grease. I have tried on other things and it actually works pretty good. Um, so that's my take on, on heavy duty. Okay. And remember, and please always remember, keep everything safe. Always mix it outside. But if you have to mix inside like I do, like for video purpose, let it cool down. Let this thing cool down first so it doesn't release any smells or any harsh chemicals in your house or your pets or whatever. But take precaution and, and, and just have a little common sense. Um, that's all. That, that's, that's, that's all you, I mean, I have to say about it. Um, but as long as you, you, you keep that in mind, you'll be okay. And have mixing jars, like how, how I have it right here with mixing jars. That also helps a lot. Um, because then you can shake it. And remember, those were the last two ingredients. I did everything else, as you saw early in the video. But those are the two last ingredients. And I said stayed earlier that those are the two last ingredients that I would put into this con um, um, concoction here. Uh, or you should say, or my so-called uh, heavy-duty laundry detergent. Uh, but anyway, other than that, that's about it. And I hope you like the video and I hope you go and make some uh, for yourself. And oh, by the way, I forgot. If you want the regular one, there'll be a link up here. And there'll also be a link in the end of the video as well for the regular versions, okay? You don't have to have ammonia and you don't have to have vinegar. That is just for grease. So I have the regular version up here and at the end of the video. Okay? Other than that, that's about it.